the ancient lab has once again proved to be an exceptional source of old loot the death ops wanted for his research but the man was still disappointed karsha didn't understand why until death ops explained that he he needed ai cores of course karsha knew not what the ai cores were not where he could find them death ops said that they should be hidden in these old ancient lamps but so far they've not seen a single one and so death ops proposed a daring plan first they shall return to unsung and then they will push deeper into the territory occupied by the spiders of the hated bugmaster there was rumor to be a ruin out there that should hold ai cores karsa wasn't sure what to think of that plan he wasn't sure if it was very smart to go in into bugmaster's domain but for now he did agree on one point they will go back home to unsung and then they'll talk about it ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the story of karsa our warlord welcome back my friends to kenshi genesis and of course as is tradition we started by killing some nasty spiders yes that is what we do and for now we shall be returning to unsung which apparently is fighting somebody or something did we have doors open or did somebody just destroy our doors hello friends it's a bunch of shack scouts the doors have been opened opened but kind of wrecked what well, that doesn't make any sense not fully destroyed though and now we're fighting outside where we might be heard by harpoons uh it's a, it's a good start it's a very good start please do destroy these fools though i beg of you my friends they, they seem to have some issues fighting these shack scouts the shack scouts are pretty powerful but not when it comes to actual crossbows clearly that still seems to be a bit of a problem for them and tyrant just ran through a wall who doesn't like that i don't know why all of you fuckers don't come to fight as well seriously though oof, oof. that is a lot of spiders you know what would be smart if you guys fought over here where we can actually get some help from our rangers over here over here there you go looks like berseria is down she's been probably shot in the leg by our own friends you know it happens well it's a it's a pretty good start to the episode quite a quite a battle there a battle that we definitely easily won congratulations boys just the way we like it now heal each other and already the runners are under attack so let's go check what's uh what's going up here who are we uh who are we fighting oh you just shot each other fusing death ops good job good job that's i like that spiders i think these spiders are slightly uh mad at us because we killed their brute queen that's the only way to explain uh, all of this right are you gonna gonna rescue people okay b1 and flying bull decide to rescue your friends which is very good i don't know why these uh please go in thank you now repair the gates good ever destruction is going to be the engineer repairing the gates apparently somebody must have crashed it i don't know how we open the gates though <laughs> doesn't make sense that the gates were broken but also open not fully broken but also open uh one more thing i wanted to show you i've been working on a bit of a like a indoor area over here that's gonna just look cool maybe gonna have some beds over here you know looks kind of like a shop the shop counters over here and stuff and people can sit over there and then further up we might have some uh, cages and we might have some more beds of course we're gonna build some more harpoons up here because the harpoons up there are the ones that really gonna do the most damage so we do want them up there instead of on the walls but that is you know still in the future looks like Kanzaki is coming to help engineer why exactly are you helping that does that mean that we are by any chance full on these no we're not oh she's working on leather right kanzaki was the leather lady and we are out of skins now so hmm we're gonna have to do some skin hunting apparently really 
we, this is awesome. So he's trying to shoot at her. Wait, where's the shack? Can't shoot at her because of the whole wall over here. And now she's trying to shoot at him. Can't shoot at him because of the whole wall. Yo, open the doors for them so we actually get to destroy them. Now you guys go back inside. Close the doors. Close. Boom. Stay. Good boy. These guys, harpooners, are gonna get them. See? Easy money. I'm not sure why Beep is actually carrying Moosey. I don't remember why we were carrying Moosey, but I do remember that this ruin that we are uh, going for should have a lot of blood spiders around. We are shooting some. I see. Ah, there, there they come. There's more out here. All right. This is the spider infested ruin. Sometimes it's got some Mark 1 weaponry and such. And that's what we're gonna go for. Of course, while still ignoring these spiders, I guess. Oh, there's more. Oh, we're really going ham on them. <laughs> Alright. Good job, boys. Rangers, you guys good? No, please don't jump into the water. Or inside of a tree. That seems... Uh, it seems like it could be a problem, but I guess it's, it isn't. Hyperion is just... <laughs> just sitting there. Everybody's aimless, because they can't heal Hyperion in the water, and he is also not sure what to do with himself. Alright, let's check what's inside. There seem to be no... spiders inside, but... There's a ring saber. And there's a power core we can sell, and a repair kit. Okay, so the ring saber should be Mark II at least. It's a Mark III ring saber. I... I will definitely take that, thank you. We have some repair kits. We can take the power core and we can take that repair kit. And usually there's nothing else up top. Yeah, there's nothing else up top. Okay. Don't care about that horse chopper. And although it could be Katan 1. Probably isn't. It's Katan 2 actually. Well then. Eh, might as well take it. We will sell it or something. Oh look, it's more spiders. Who would have thought that there could be more spiders in the desert? And when I say desert, I mean the swamp. <laughs> Iberian is complaining about his chassis. Aw. Oh, oh, poor guy. Oh, look at that. There's even more of them. Looks like today we get stopped by uh, blood spiders every three seconds. Who are you guys shooting at? I guess there's a, there's a big battle out there. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna, you're gonna outrange them, so... So let's ignore that, boys. And we are arriving to this little quaint village out here called Tadpole. Slowly but surely everybody's arriving, right? Yeah, we're just gonna go to the big shop. And we're gonna sell all the extra stuff that we have for sale. They were uh, pretty interested in all of our uh, pearl oasis and all that stuff that we had. And we sold them some of the old skeleton muscles and all that stuff. I also bought the rebel building shells over here. And a rattan hand blueprint, because we apparently didn't have that one yet. So, we're up to 36,000 now, which is a bit better. Not too amazing. Uh, we're gonna stop at Mako, I think, before we're going home. And uh, we're gonna trade there as well. Hello, friendly swampers. Uh, we have arrived. Trade with you and you have no money. Uh, we will buy your Gohan, though, because that one's cheap. Thank you. Uh, do you have more? Ah, this guy's got more money. See? Uh, let's sell you one of these. It's a good start. Oh, there's there's Shaq over here. Apparently, we're fighting Shaq. Does that put us into battle with Swampers? Yes, it does. Uh, this could be problematic. Do they have harpoons over here? I hear I hear crossbows. I don't want to fight you, Swampers. <laughs> uh, this could be very bad. This could, in fact, be very bad. Yeah, they're bounty hunting. Apparently, we were committing crime. Is that correct? We're not. Let's pull back out of the town, please. Maybe... Maybe let's have everybody run back there. I don't want you fighting out here. Next, stick. Stick. Stick! Move, dude! Sure, if, you, if you're gonna have to fight the Swampers, I would rather just fight them out there where there's no... None of these fucking things. Where they can just pop us for a lot of damage. So let's let's fight out here, if you're, if you're really so manly. You're trying to fight us. Well, we'll fight you. We will fight you. Alright. Get off of hold now. Stupid Swampers. 
coming for us out here just because of some Shack Kingdom boys? What do you think is gonna happen? What do you think is gonna happen? Nothing good's gonna happen to you. Now, maybe we'll bring a Swamper or two back home with us. Oh, it's, uh, it's another Swamper shooting us out there. I don't want none of that. Did we get him? I guess Moosey got him, or... Wait, where is he? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, we have more coming. Oh, these guys are just medicking. Don't shoot the guys that are medicking. We are actually shooting them. Do you really want to be uh, enemies with the Swampers, boys? I don't think so. So maybe start, stop shooting them. Okay, just heal up. Let them be. You too. Let them be, I said. Yeah, boys, this was all just a misunderstanding. We also totally didn't capture Jared and Skinner over here. Skinner, who lost a leg. No, no, no. That wasn't us. Oh, now there's spiders again. Really? No, no, no. Stick, where are you going, buddy? Don't run back into the town. Clearly, they don't want to play with us. It's fine. Oh, once again, we have red sabers. When I say red sabers, I mean red spiders, blood spiders. Red sabers are out there. That's that's what I was trying to say over here. You two stop shooting again. We might go wipe out these red sabers. I think they're fighting... Death Ops, you coming, buddy? I think they're fighting Swamp Ninjas. And who are we not to go play with these fools while they fight? Am I right? Hello, red sabers. Let me, let me have fun with you. Yes, we're, we're totally not just coming to uh, ruin your party. Together you did well. Fuse, don't be in melee. You, you did well fighting each other. But now we're coming to fight even more of you or something. Stick, you doing okay over here? Oh yeah, he's doing some good damage with that pole arm of his. And he got destroyed. Do we have more? I mean, there's some more red sabers out there. Who are ignoring us. <laughs> or maybe not ignoring us anymore. Yeah, no, we're not lost in the swamps. I think you're gonna be soon lost in the swamps, my friend. And this last one as well. Good job, boys. It's time we do some more uh, training, shall we? Trim and Joseph. Let's go fight this big shag boy. That is a big shag boy. See? 76, 66. That's, that's a bit better when it comes to training. I mean, that wrench, he might actually do some damage to us, and that's okay. But these two guys need training. Joseph is at 26-33, and Trime is at 31-34. And these guys in 70s and 60s, that would be now our perfect training partners. And I'm happy we have some more of these. Of course, we do need to do a lot of training over here. Not just this, this bits and pieces between while we're waiting for runners to come home. Uh, I really need to have like a dedicated day or two or three or four where we just do training. When are we getting attacked next time? Shack Kingdom is coming in two days. All right, so we still have plenty of time. Looks like these two guys are going down. Joseph is in recovery coma or will be Eva. You going in here? Uh, the Trime's gonna get back up. Don't worry about it. Daryl, you come in here as well. And then we have Bones still waiting aside. As you can see, perfect training. These guys can't even take down one. And we have, what, five people training? Ghost, you can go grab that guy. Hopefully, at least Ghost will gonna be able to take this dude down. Hey, they did it. Good job, boys. You brought it down. You're not quite dead yet. Although, Trime does need to go uh, do some resting over here. Well played. I wish I would have remembered what their skills were before, but... Uh, Joseph, I think he's got like one or two points in each of these. Trime got some points. I didn't check for these dudes, but you can see how we actually can train now over here, which is great. Well, get out of here. You don't need to. You don't need to be here. It's good. We we can actually do training. This was a this was a short test, and the short test definitely told us that this is gonna be. Uh, these guys are gonna be proper training partners. It just. Um, Gonna take, you know, a bit before we uh, actually can go and take some time and train. And these guys, of course, are out of doing anything for a day or two, which is fine. Looks like we have some scavengers out here who will want to fight us. 
So let's go get him, boys. Ooh, Stig just got hit badly. I think that was friendly fire. Although these guys do have sometimes strong weapons as well. Good, good damage there, Stig. Moosey went down? Poor Moosey. Looks like Moosey got shot in the face as well. Probably by friendly fire, <laughs> if I had to guess. You never know. You never know. Although I did say that these guys can be strong as well. Karsa going for that dude. So you guys have been saying Karsa is, you know, still not strong enough. Look, he's uh, he's getting in his 40s now. You, you gotta remember that uh, we're playing with a big group of people. The bigger the group of people you have, the slower they will level up. Because all the XP gets spread out as they fight, right? So, it's, it's understandable that it might take a bit longer to train. You know, if you get everybody into combat uh, very often, so don't worry about it. Kars is gonna be Kars is gonna become stronger eventually. It's just for now that he's he's not the strongest boy out there quite yet. We're gonna quickly stop over here at Hope, just to sell some of the extra stuff that uh, Moosey is carrying. Oh, these guys do have extra nice money. I didn't want to bring all of my people in here, and there's a reason for that, because uh, some of them are carrying swamp person that might be considered a crime you, you never know with these people right some people might be thinking that that's that's bad that we are kidnapping swampers i you, you never know what who these guys might be affiliated with so could you talk to them there you go uh so yeah we're, we left everybody outside the walls we're just bringing in carson moosey and making some money they were coming close to home again this time around carrying some prisoners people from the swamp and also some scavengers they have fought out there in the spider planes. So far, most of the people they brought back as prisoners voluntarily joined them eventually. So Carsa was hoping this time around it would be the same. Of course he knew any of the prisoners from the Shack Kingdom they capture. Those, those will never join them. The honor they had in their hearts prevented them from doing so. But Carsa at least hoped the ghost did something with them. The ghosts managed to get them to train and fight. If the shack were good for one thing, well, then it was fighting. Hello friends, we return back home. It is, uh, it is good to see everybody. We are, we are safe, we're fine, and we got some new research that we can go work on. How about that? I mean, the hybrid research, I'm not yet sure what exactly we're gonna do with it. If I mean, we can research some of the Hiver stuff, but uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna ever actually use it. We'll see, though. With the resources we brought back, especially uh, steel and such, we can go and build... Oh, really, you're, you're throwing them away like this? <laughs> uh, how many steel bars do we need? Uh, I wanted to say that we can build more harpoon turrets up here, and I already assigned two to be built. We need three steel bars per each. I think I threw down five. Okay, Moosey, throw down one more. There you go. Uh, you guys don't need to follow anymore. It's fine. You guys uh, can do your things. No, not jobs, though. Go eat. We need to imprison people still. That's true. And, of course, we have Moosey with some more steel bars over here that we can use. Uh, most of the rest will get sold, though. Besides the, of course, materials. We're going to unlock the limb bench for Hivers. So we'll actually be able to start making some some limbs and hiver limbs. I wouldn't mind having these. That would be pretty cool, actually. Vamos has been making us these Ronin blades that I said we're gonna use as secondary uh, weapons. So let's see if we can start giving these to some people. Of course you're out of trading range. Of course you're out of fucking trading range. How about you? You're not good. Schnitzel? Schnitzel's got a... What, what is this garbage? Get get out of here. There you go, Schnitzel, you can have that as a secondary. Geld? Get rid of that as well. There you go, Geld can have that as a secondary. Hyperion doesn't need it. Beeps got himself that thing. And Stick, are you close enough? Stick is close enough, there you go. So, more secondary blades. And looks like we are building stuff up here. Death Ops, don't be, don't be concerned that Spider-Eye has taken your... Uh, Harpoon, you will soon be getting your own harpoon. 
Don't worry about it. I also wanted to try this uh, backpack workbench. We haven't built that and this seems a good place as any. Now I don't know if we have any actual good backpacks that we can make, but we'll try. Let's see what we can actually do with this uh, backpack bench. We have Bolt Quiver back. Oh, we have Thieves Backpack. Oh, that is big. We do need actual animal skins for that, which we are lacking right now. But this would be really nice. Uh, we'll be able to make Thieves Backpacks for basically everybody. That is huge. <laughs> if we can actually make this eventually. We do have enough fabrics. We're just going to need to go into maybe some big pink big pink big thing territory maybe if you go out here and hunt down some big things that's something we could go for and then we can go into some high villages and buy some lanterns of radiance hey i think the runners just just got themselves a job i think that would be really good and we can go even right now we can just start and uh yeah go there I think that would be that would be exactly what we'll, what we want. Just go fight as many big things as we can find, skin them. Gorillas as well should be over there that we can take care of. Ooh, that would be that would be big. I think. I mean, who who are you, Shaq? W what are you doing here? How'd you get in here, buddy? This was a this was a terrible mistake. It's just a normal Shaq warrior. Oh, we are almost done building this one. Very nice. Uh, where are you? Death of C, you can have this one as a job now, since the other one doesn't work for you. There you go. Uh, I guess they're all they're all leaving now. That's also fine. <laughs> and Death Ops goes for this one. He's like, nope, mine. There you go. We have three harpoons up here now. Spider, Avisa, and Scotty are all going for them. We're gonna need to get them some lights for uh, for the nighttime. And Fuse and Death Ops, since they've been going away lately. Um, they can stay on the lower ones for now, I guess. There you go, that should work. It should be in light now. 46 in third. Scotty's got 43 and spider has got 38. They're pretty good. 52 precision, 36 precision, and 43 precision. His crossbow's not very good, but he's very good with turrets. Or at least better. Same with Alvisa. spider Eye is good with uh, crossbows, though. Even better than with turrets. So we got that going for him. How's Fuse? Fuse is, well, Fuse is just a legend and everything. And Death Ops, Death Ops is not very good with turrets, but he's good with uh, precision and crossbows. Even though Death Ops wanted to go for that ancient lab, Karsha decided it was too dangerous for now. They will go on a trading mission, and they will go into the lands of the Western Hivers. Karsha still felt like they owed an apology to the Hivers after that unfortunate diplomatic incident where they captured a couple of them after spider eye went and attacked them and while he was sure the hivers will not want to move against the shack kingdom and help them out they could secure a neutral compact with them a trading agreement maybe and continue trading with them even though that caravan was once ambushed stick and pebble were not too enthusiastic to return to the hive but they agreed to lead karsha and his men towards their villages and introduce him while karsha knew the shack kingdom will be coming back soon again he was sure he was taking a small enough force out of the town that its defense would not be compromised nothing bad would happen to unsung while he was away <laughs> <laughs>